Okay, this is uh, where we're going to do some finishing touches here, I think. I want to add some smoke and stuff here. Um, he's a little bit bright. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm kind of going back and forth with whether or not I like him bright. And I think I want him a little bit bright here. Otherwise, there's really no point. I'm not, not going to see much of anything here. What I might want to do uh, is just kind of give him a little bit more of a warm warm glow in the middle here. Uh, so I want to go to, I'm going to bring in my shadow pass. Okay, so here's my shadow pass. I'm going to bring this guy right down in front. And if I made this into a multiply real fast, you'd see how much darker it gets. It's ridiculously dark. Um, what I want to do is use this as a mask, essentially. And um, I'm going to add a solid layer, a uh, new solid. I'm going to make this solid a warmish color. A um, little bit of orange in it, just a, just a hint of, of warmth here. Something like that. And I'm going to go here and just turn the track mat to Luma Matte Shadow, uh, and and maybe I'll change this uh, a little bit more here. Let's go to uh, where's let me see here solid settings. Where's solid settings? Okay, under layer, we'll go to solid settings. I'm going to change that color to maybe a little bit more, uh, a bit more of a of a warmish color. Okay. So I have Luma Matte here, and then I'm going to grab both of these, pre-comp this into orange, glowish, and I don't know if I'm even going to end up using this, but let's see. So then I'm going to bring in my cavity and use that as a track mat for this. Okay, so now we have this, and I'm going to grab both of these and pre-comp them, and I'll play around with the, uh, with the, with the display modes here. So you go to soft light. And we get a little bit of an orangish look there, maybe overlay. Let's see. This is again, it's one of those things where I just, you just, I just don't know which one does does the best job for me here. Um, linear dodge. Let's go to linear light. Pin light. Okay, so soft light seems to be the winner here. Now, as you turn it off and on, it just gives us a, a warmer glow there. And I might just knock that opacity down by half. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a of a warmer glow there. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but um, like I said, I'm just going to try different things out here. Okay. Now, what I want to do, you can see here, I have what I do. I overlaid a, an old, uh, con like an old, messy, gritty texture, just to kind of give this a little bit of of, of a you know some grit to it. Um, but I also want to have some smoke here. It just seems to me that he would be, you know, he would be in a situation where smoke was involved. Now, what I also want to do though, I want to make sure this rock does not get uh, this um, this much glow here. So I'm going to bring in my I have a, I did a pass with a mask just for the rock, and I want to have this be uh, the inverted luma mat of that. So the rock does not get any of that glow. Just just this guy does. I have an adjustment layer here uh, with curves that's supposed to it's just 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 affecting the rock as well. I want to keep that rock somewhat somewhat dark. I don't want it to compete with our guy really. You know um, so. What I'm going to do now is add some smoke, and again, you can you can find pictures online of smoke. Um, I just happen to have uh, some footage, and I'm going to use that. Um, so let's just go to. Oh, I went right past it. There's me, and documents, and my uh, and footage archives, and I have here some. I'm going to actually go with smoke, but I'm going to go with dust. I think in this case, dust might actually be better. And let's just go to Dust Wave 3, something along those lines. Maybe Dusted Cam 3. I, I, I'm just going to play around and bring in this guy, Dusted Cam. And I'm just going to pop him into place. And you can see right away how much smoke that is. Um, we'll let it kind of dissipate a little bit here. And we'll find the frame that we think looks best. Something like that is actually pretty cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to actually use this. I'm going to go in here to my effects, color correction. And, you know, it's off the screen. I'm going to go simply to go to color correction. And I'm going to just go to um, hue and saturation. And I'm just going to crank the saturation all the way down. I want this to be a black and white image. Okay. And I'm not even going to use this. I'm going to actually use um, a, a solid and use this as a, tr as a track mat for it. I want, I want the smoke to be a little bit, a little bit bluish. I'm kind of in a blue mood here. I'm not really sure why. 
layer. Let's, oh, let's go to let's put that here. Let's go to layer, new, solid. And I'm just going to make this a rough blue ish gray. I just want it to have a little hint of blue in it. Um, because it's like I, I'm thinking of like kind of like a, a a barren type planet or something like that wherever he is. And I'm gonna have the luma mat. So you know, the, 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 this is a little bit grayer, a little bit. I mean, uh, more in the way of blue. Let's maybe change that color to a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more saturation to this here, so it's not quite so gray and blown out. See, now we have a little bit of of smoke here. And let's just pre-comp these smoke. And now we can duplicate this if we want to add a little more to it here. And we'll pre-comp these two. And on this now, I'm going to give a, a layers, uh, I mean, a, um, a color correction curves effect. But I can just kind of, kind of tweak it a little bit here so it's not quite so, you know. So you can see where it is here. I just want to kind of make it a little less crazy there. Okay, I, I do. I do want to feel like it's kind of far away, like not far away, but he's like in the mist. So, you know. But by the same token, I don't want it to be so blown out that it doesn't really have much in the way of drama to it. So, just a little bit of smoke. Um, the only other thing I might try and do, and again, this is one of those things that might not work out, is I might want to see if I zoom in here, right in here, in this little slat. I might want to kind of give the hint of an orange glow in there, like like, like there's like a that's where the fire is or something like that. So. Let's just try that. Let's create a layer, and I'm going to choose solid, and just make this something like this orangish yellow color here, and I'll put this right on top. And I'm just going to uh, knock the opacity down just so I can kind of see through it. And I'm going to move in here, very up close here, and I'm just going to um, draw a mask. Okay, so. So I'm going to draw a mask right here. Just zoom in a little more so I can actually draw the mask and have it work for me here. And this is going to be so far, it's, it's so it's, it's so lacking in resolution that I don't think it really is going to matter a whole lot whether or not we're right on, right on target here. I'm going to pause the video and just keep drawing and I'll come back in a minute. Okay, so it worked out pretty well. I, I did some I did some masking, and I actually, uh, as you can see here, I I masked it out. I made it a, I added a glow effect to it, and then I doubled it. So I duplicated it twice. So we so we actually have you know two versions of it, and you know maybe I can add a little bit more of a of a glow to this. Um, if I double click on glowy, you can see where it is here, and the solid has a glow on it. If I crank up the glow radius and the glow threshold, um, I think I'll get a little bit more. Do the same thing for underneath here, just to kind of duplicate, just to kind of double it up a little bit, and let's see where we are here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I can, I can again, I can actually just really go nuts and just duplicate it again, and that looks nice. That's got a nice little feel to it. Now, what I might want to do is go back to my smoke here and tint this a little bit. Um, and what I mean by that is, uh, I might want to. Let's bring in that smoke. That smoke again. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to grab smoke. Uh, let me see. Here it is. And I'm going to bring in. Let me see. Where I'm going to double click on smoke to open this guy up. Um, okay. So smoke has its own little thing here. So I'm going to go. I have, I have my own little uh, pre comp. So I can go up here to smoke. And bring this here right in front. And what I want to do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to uh, use this, uh, I'm going to open up this smoke here, and I'm going to change this solid to that orange color that we just did with the uh, with the, the face. And I, I have to check that might have actually made everything orange. Yeah, it did. So let's undo that. <laughs> let's just let's just do another smoke. Let's just create smoke again. That way we can do this separately. I, I'm sure there's a way to actually make that no longer uh, do that, make, you know, make them independent of each other, but this is just as well. I want to actually have a little bit more smoke here for this. Okay, something like this. And what I want to do is use that as a, um, a matte pass for my orange solid. So let's go to my orange solid and bring this guy right down here. 
use this uh, Luma Pass. Okay, so now we have just that. But now I'm going to grab both of these, pre comp them. I'm going to call this <laughs> Nose Glow because it makes me happy. And I'm just going now to, to, to use a mat for this. And I'm going to click and draw a mat to about here and have this kind of be the effect of this light on everything around them. So I'm going to just go to this and feather the heck out of it. And then I'll use the mask expansion to kind of, uh, you know, like, like that. And I'll turn this off so I can see what's going on. Actually, expansion is too much. So let's just keep it like this. And let's go back to that mask here. And let's, uh, let's fix that. Let's convert divert vertices here to something a little more manageable here. Um, okay, something like this. And then I'm going to go to the opacity of this and just crank it way down. I just want to kind of give the impression uh, that there's something there. Now, this is not what I want. I mean, you can see here, it's just got, it's got way too much going on here. So I'm just going to kind of just mask off this a little bit and just kind of um, make it so that this, let's go to this mask and subtract this mask and then we'll feather this insanely. Okay. To just kind of, you know, the impression that this is giving off some glow there. I kind of like that. Uh, let's fit this up to 100%. Okay, so that's kind of the idea, although I do think I want this to come out a little bit more like this, so we do have a little bit more. There we go. All right, so it just, it just, it just you know, it gives it a little bit of, of interest. It might be, you know, it might be, oops, <laughs> it might be too much, um, but uh, I like it. I'm going to go to opacity and, and crank this down, make this set, set to add. So it's got a little bit more brightness to it, and there we go. So I'm going to knock this smoke down a bit. Okay, now you know you can you can definitely play a little more. You can add some some more lighting effects. You can add some particle effects to kind of give this like you know give this a feeling of of some kind of otherworldly thing. But for the most part, I think that's actually pretty cool. I'm going to just play around a little more um, with this, render it out, uh, and uh, you know I'll I'll have the the final render hopefully um, in a little bit. So I'll be I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to render it out, and I'll just take a look at what the final picture looks like. Okay, so here's a look at how it turned out. Um, you know, it, a lot more can be done in the actual post-production phase. I didn't uh, necessarily do a whole lot with the background. I just kind of threw it together. But you get the idea that, you know, just by bringing a few things into After Effects or Photoshop and uh, playing around with some color correction and different renders in ZBrush, you can really have a lot of fun and uh, have a lot more control over the image. So um, this is pretty much the end of, uh, end of the road here. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, the process of creating this little guy. Um, I did, and um, uh, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you next time.